Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm here with Thomas and we are we're going thrifting. Like we're going to two. We're gonna check out this one first and if we find nothing good, we might go to another one, but hopefully we find good stuff here. I've never been to this one before. We have gloves and our masks and stuff, so we're gonna check it out. We are in the children's section. And all I've found so far is this roots top. Please help me look. It's like kind of expensive. It's like six bucks. Ridiculous. So look how small this hat is. So this makes me so uncomfortable. I am so uncomfortable. I have literally found nothing. Oh. Gotta get some good angles. Oh, 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 what is this like flappy thing? I'm your videographer now. It means they're cropped, right? If they're capri? Yeah, they're like shorter. Ooh. This is juicy one. Fuzzy. Juicy. Cut the Fire. I'm deciding whether to get this. So we're saying no, right? I would never wear it. I don't think I'm gonna get this. It's kind of expensive for what it is. Hi guys, I'm back from the thrift store and it is now about two to three days later. So I'm back home obviously and I'm now going to show you guys everything that I got. I'm also going to show you guys a couple things that I got at another thrift trip that I did about like two or three weeks ago just because I never showed that stuff in a video so I might as well just show that stuff now. Starting with the stuff that I got at my thrift trip from three weeks ago and it was a different thrift store than the one that I went to in this video. First things first was this mint green. It's actually a Ralph Lauren tank top. So in this video I'm going to be cropping it because it's a long tank top so I want to crop it shorter. Next I got this little tee and it's actually from the little boy section. A lot of hidden gems in there so I looked in there and I found this top. It's navy blue and it has this little race car on it and I thought it just looked really nice with like a pair of low rise jeans. I haven't worn it out yet but I do have an outfit in mind so I'm really stoked about that. Next up is this red colored shirt. Okay honestly mm. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get this because I felt like I was working at like a movie theater or something because it's just like bright red and it's collared. But there's a Minnie Mouse in the corner and she has a little tennis racket. I thought it was super, super cute. And this was in the little girl section, so we love that. Do you want to crop this one as well today? Now moving on to the stuff that I got in this video. The first thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is by far the best. I'm so excited about this. I found this randomly. I was just looking through like the athletic pants section just for no reason thinking that I wouldn't find anything and then I found these pants. They are a pair of juicy pants. It looks like that with the little juicy tag but anyways yeah it looks like that and it's like a blue velvety material. I've tried them on and they literally fit me perfectly. My next item is this pair of pants and once again I just found these in the pants section. I wasn't really looking with the intention of finding anything but they look like this. They're these brown corduroy pants and I looked at the tag and they're actually Aritzia. They're Wilfred pants so that's super cool and these once again fit me absolutely perfectly. I was really worried that they would be too small because when I was looking at them they just look really tiny. I actually like the corduroy material because I don't have pants like this at all and they do flare out a little bit at the ankle. They're a bit wide. Next I got a little baby tee and this is from the girls section. It looks like this. It has Roots Canada logo. It's just like a tight fitted tee so I'm really excited about this and lastly I have this slip dress. It looks like this. It flares out super nicely and has really pretty sheer material. I'm trying it on and I literally have no idea like how to style this because it's like completely see-through. I might just end up selling it on Depop because I don't think that I'm really going to get much wear out of it. Actually, I was looking at the tag the other day when I was washing the dress and I actually realized that it's a Victoria's Secret dress, which is a super cool, rare find, especially for a thrift store. Like, people on Depop go crazy for that stuff, so I'm kind of debating whether I should keep it or not. So now I'm going to crop these two pieces. I'm hoping that this turns out a lot cuter when I crop it because what's going on right now? So I ended up finding this little stain on the back of the tank top, so I ended up just deciding to crop it right above that stain. So essentially I was just cutting it right off the top and getting rid of it. Then for the red top I did the exact same thing where I basically just folded it up to measure how much I wanted to crop it. I ended up folding it just above my belly button. 
So now moving on to the actual cropping process. So I started with my tank top and I decided to use a binder as a sort of straight line guide instead of a ruler because I couldn't find one. So I just took a pencil because I also couldn't find a fabric pen and then I just drew a straight line all the way down the tank top and then using my fabric scissors cut right along that straight line to crop it and then I made sure to check that it wasn't crooked. Next, I folded the shirt inside out and then I folded the edge up with about a one and a half centimeter seam allowance. Then taking my iron, I pressed that edge up and basically this edge is what's going to create a nice clean hem. So when I fold it right side out, it'll look super nice and super clean and not all raw and gross. So pressing is just going to make it a lot easier to pin and sew. And then I just pinned the folded up edge in place, even though I did press it, I just wanted it to be extra secure. And then I went in on my sewing machine and sewed on the 10 line all the way around the top. Now moving on to my red top. So basically when I tried it on at the beginning, I was folding it and seeing how much I wanted to crop. I measured the length of how much material I wanted to cut off the shirt and I measured it as 7 inches. So then I went back in with my tape measure on the top and marked with a pencil 7 inches so I knew exactly the distance that I wanted to cut off. Then I did the same thing as my previous top where I used the binder, sort of a straight edge to follow and with my fabric scissors cut off the bottom as how I measured it and then I went back in and fixed it in areas that it was a little bit crooked and then I did the same thing as before where I folded up the bottom edge to hem it and pressed it with my iron so that it would be a lot easier when sewing. So just like before, I pinned down that folded up edge to make sure that it was extra secure before sewing on the 10 line all the way around the top. And something that I didn't mention is with that remaining seam allowance that came out of the folded edge, I just ended up trimming it off so that there wasn't as much excess fabric kind of just hanging around the top, if that makes sense. It is the next day and I finished with my little alterations yesterday. So with this first top, I cropped it and then I hemmed the bottom. But then I realized that when I tried it on, it was a little bit too big on me, like it was too wide. So the bottom just looked really, really bad because it was like waving around because it was too big on me, if that makes sense. So I ended up taking it in on the sides. I just didn't film it though. I basically did two darts on the two side seams. So if you don't know what a dart is, I'm sure you can look it up, but it's a way to sort of take stuff in. I just did two darts on the side seams and then that took it in and then made it tighter around my body so it fits me a lot better now so I'm really glad that I did that. Then for the red shirt I just did the hem at the bottom again. I haven't actually tried this one on yet so I probably should do that but it just looks like that I didn't do anything else to it besides the bottom hem. But now I'm going to show you guys a couple different outfits that I'm going to put together with all the pieces. <laughs> My first outfit is incorporating that light green tank top, so I'm wearing it with these cargo Princess Polly pants with this little leopard print shoulder bag that's from Dreamscape USA, and then my necklace is from Gemini Jewels on Instagram, but I just love the overall vibe of this outfit. I think it all goes really well together. For my second outfit, I incorporated the Minnie Mouse thrifted top, and I'm wearing it with this Lululemon tennis skirt and a Princess Polly shoulder bag, and on the shirt, Minnie is playing tennis, so I saw it only fitting that I wore a tennis skirt with this outfit. My third outfit is using the thrifted boys t-shirt so I'm wearing it with these low-rise Urban Outfitters jeans and my zebra shoulder bag is from Karina's BTQ on Instagram and then my necklace is the same one as before and for this top I actually tied it with a hair tie in the back and then tucked it in to make it fit my body a little bit better and crop it a tiny bit. This next one is quite similar to the last one. I just changed out the tee for the Roots one that we thrifted in this video and I'm wearing it with these same urban jeans and my bag is a Dreamscape USA one from before and the same necklace and with this top I actually didn't crop it or tie it in the back at all. I like the overall fit of it especially because it's a kid's shirt so it fits quite nicely and tight so I liked it and just kept it like that for this outfit. The next outfit is using the juicy pants and let's just ignore the tag on this side because I haven't taken it off yet but my top is this high neck top from Princess Polly and my bag is also from them. I really do wish that I had a nice navy blue sweater to tie around my shoulders or to just wear over top the tank top to match with the pants but sadly I don't so maybe I'll spend my next thrift trip looking for a matching sweater for this outfit. My next outfit is incorporating the brown corduroy Aritzia pants. So I'm wearing the same tank top as the last outfit, as well as the same shoulder bag. 
and then I have this white cardigan tied over my shoulders and the cardigan is from Aritzia. I love the entire vibe of this outfit. I think it just looks super chic and dressed up. Definitely very different than what I normally wear, but the cardigan's definitely not necessary. I think it's just a really nice accessory to add to the outfit and I feel like it adds a lot of character to it and really does dress it up. So guys, that is it for my little video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the thrifting process and then the alterations and then some outfit ideas. Definitely let me know if you want to see more videos like this, but hopefully I gave you guys a little bit of outfit inspiration, maybe for back to school. I always have fun thrifting and I love taking you guys along with me. So definitely let me know if you want to see more thrifting videos because I would be happy to do more and give the video a thumbs up if you want to see more. Make sure to subscribe and turn on my post notifications as well as check out all my other social medias, which will be linked down below. But with that, I love all of you guys so, so much and I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye.